Hi guys, welcome down here to the 12th hole on the east course at Vatanat Golf Resort. This week, what we're going to be doing is a golf ball comparison video on the Titleist range, how each golf ball performs differently and which one will work best for you. So the four golf balls that we're going to be trying this week is the very popular Titleist Pro V1, the Titleist AVX, the Titleist Tour Soft, and the Titleist DT True Soft golf balls. So guys, I've brought down the head teaching professional David to the 12th hole, and what I'm going to get him to do is hit some shots with all the different Titleist golf balls. We're going to see the numbers on Trackman, see how different they are, and ultimately advise the correct golf ball for his game. So the first golf ball David's going to be hitting is the Titleist DT True Soft. Now I know from watching David hit it on Trackman and looking at his numbers, he averages about 100 miles an hour with his seven iron. And this golf ball is designed for people who struggle with club head speed. It's designed to go ultra long, very low spin. So really this golf ball shouldn't be working for David. So let's get him to hit it and let's see how it works out. So the second golf ball David's gonna test for me is the Titleist Tour Soft Ball. Now again, this is similar to the True Soft. It's to increase distance. But what the big difference is between this and the True Soft, this one has greater control around the greens on your short chips, 100 yards in. And also with the trajectory, it gives it a more consistent flight. So this is kind of for your mid-range mid handicap golfer, whereas True Soft is a bit for your high handicapper. So the third ball is one of the Titleist newer range. It's called the Titleist AVX. So David's gonna try this one and the benefits to the AVX is increased distance, remarkable scoring control and low spin with driver and long irons. It's a really good golf ball. So I think this one could really work well for David. So the final golf ball we're going to get David to test for us is it's the number one used ball on tour. It's the Titleist Pro V1. Now this golf ball is, is fantastic. Extraordinary distance, very low spin for your long game. And it's got a technology, technology in it called drop and stop green side control. So around the green, it's good. And again, this could really work for David. David, before we actually look at the Trackman data, what's your personal opinion on the golf balls? Which did you prefer? Which did you like the feel of? And which do you think it performed best for you? Uh, definitely the AVX and the Pro V1. Uh, it's difficult to say. Maybe once I've looked at the Trackman numbers, I'll understand better. Um, it feels like the AVX reacts better off the, off the iron face for me, if that makes sense. Um, I tend to feel like the Pro V1's maybe a little bit soft for me and that's why maybe I'm always in between Pro V1, Pro V1X, but I think that's a good substitute for, you know, somebody who's looking for something that does go a bit further. And you, know, you could see the ball flat on mine was much straighter and I guess maybe because of the compression rate on that ball, less shape. Uh, I tend to overshape the ball with the Pro V1. So yeah, I think maybe based on what we've seen today, the AVX definitely wins here. Cool, let's dive in and have a look at the data. Let's have a look. So we have just had a look at David's numbers and for me personally, and I'm going to agree with David that the AVX did perform best. The Trackman data backs this up. It's the ball he got the most ball speed with, the most distance with, and ultimately personal preference, he preferred the feel of the AVX. The other golf balls did perform well, but having discussed David's preferences with like how high he hits the driver, so he's already spinning the ball quite a lot. So for me, the AVX is a perfect golf ball for David. Cool, yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I think, you know, like we said, in terms of distance, uh, I hit the ball pretty consistently with my irons, so it doesn't really affect me as much in my mid irons. But like I said to you, uh, driver is another one, as you mentioned, trying to keep the spin as low as possible because I do launch the ball quite high. And I generally am quite a spinny player with a driver. So, you know, that's why I've always gone to the Pro V1 but I've just never really played around with the AVX but you know I think those the spin rate is going to be very similar to a Pro V1 uh, it's just as nice feeling um, and I think 
you know, around the greens is going to perform the same. Absolutely. So the first two definitely not going to work for me. Uh, from 100 yards, I need the ball to spin, or especially around the green, I need to know what that should feel yeah. like. But it does feel like I've had a play around in the greens with it and putting and chipping feels very, very close to a Pro V1. Or yeah, a Pro V1 absolutely. Next. Same sort of quality. So, yeah, it's a very good ball, and I'm definitely going to give that a shot from now on and see how it works for my game. Cool. That sounds great to me. So, yeah, guys, if you want to come down, We've got all these Titleist golf balls in stock now, so you can try, come and have a chat with us, we can advise what we think, hit a few on the trap man, and we can take it from there. Thanks for watching guys, see you soon.